I just wanted to give you guys a little look at some of the Memoria Press program that we use. I'm going to show you my son's first grade work and what we go through and do every day. Um, this is his penmanship book. It's level one, New American Cursive, and this comes with the first grade core package. And just to look inside at some of it, it is very, very basic uh, learning, um, capital and lowercase cursive letters, and also connecting letters together. This one struggles with his handwriting, but he does some really, really lovely cursive work. Um, every day we actually go through our lesson plan book and check all of our boxes off for what we have to do. So let's say today's Wednesday. Oh, this is my second grader's work. Wrong workbook. First grade. So we did spelling workout, math. We actually use a different math. All of my kids use a different math. We don't use Rod and Staff. I have heard great things about Rod and Staff, but um, the last year we used different math, so I just stuck with what we know. So my first grader is actually using Saxon 1. He's actually almost done with it. He only has about nine um, lessons left, and then he will be working in teaching textbooks. Uh, teaching textbooks three he'll be going into. Um, Storytime treasures. I'll show you what that looks like because this is really, really cute. Really, really pretty too. Um, they work through different literature books. Here's what the cover looks like of Storytime treasures. Um, it's basically just reading parts of classic literature and then doing comprehension and vocabulary work along with those books that they read. And in Storytime Treasures, they read through Little Bear, Little Bear's Visit, Caps for Sale, Blueberries for Sal, and Make Way for Ducklings. So he's actually almost done with Make Way for Ducklings because right now it is February and we are almost, we are past halfway through all of our work for the year, for the school year, I should say. Um, for phonics, they actually skip around in Core Skills Phonics 2 and 3, and this is third grade work, I mean third grade, first grade work. Um, but um, they actually utilize grades 2 and 3 phonics because by the end of first grade they're expected to know their basic phonics so that in second grade they won't get a whole lot of phonics work. It's um, mostly grammar. Okay, what else do we use? Copy book. This copy book we use has um, handwriting and cursive writing in it. And it is first you, one day a week you copy, one day a week you're reading, and then another day you are drawing a picture to go along with what you've talked about and written about. And um, every week there is a new verse, handwriting, and um, I don't know if we've actually done any cursive in here. I think it's all been handwriting so far, and this is the first grade book. Um, level two is the first grade copy book. And we also do spelling, and he is working in spelling workout B. And what I really like about what they did is they kind of skip around in this book. Like they go from lesson two to 14 to 30, and they do that for a reason because their spelling list will actually go along with what they're reading in their literature for the week or what they're learning in their phonics book for the week. So I really like that it um, every week it all kind of flows together. That's really, really nice. And first grade worksheets. These are just practice sheets. Um, I don't even really think that we've done these every week, but I will have him come in here just to get some extra practice on cursive lettering. 
um, <laughs> and drawing apparently. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. It's just for them to go through and practice. And we didn't actually use these spelling list sheets. We just use um, a whiteboard and I have them write their spelling list words out a couple times a week on that and then just erase it. So we didn't really use the spelling list sheets, but you can use them. So there's that. And then we also do, okay, so I am teaching first, second, and sixth grade accelerated Memoria Press. And I did not want to do two different levels of enrichment. So I would be doing first and second grade enrichment. So I just stuck with one. We do first grade enrichment and um, every week there are different pieces of artwork that we talk about and discuss. Like, okay, so for instance, <laughs> this week we did Golden Eagle by John James Audubon. It's realism and it was a watercolor medium. And um, here is the picture that we talked about and the kids have their art enrichment books. So here is Jack's art enrichment books and he drew some feathers and then he copied down what I wrote on the board and they were just doing their best realism that they could do and my first and second grader do that we all do that together we talk about a poem every week in enrichment we talk about a famous work of music in enrichment what week was this 15. So we did the Nutcracker, Waltz of the Flowers, but we're in paid. What week are we in right now? 20? <laughs> 20. And I think on Tuesday is when we listened to our music of the week. It was You're a Grand Old Flag. I actually played this and we've sung along to it this week. It's kind of fun. And it also, <laughs> our enrichment goes along with our book of the week which was our national anthem. It's called The Star Spangled Banner by, it's illustrated by Peter Spear, and it was just the entire Star Spangled Banner illustrated out. Really, really pretty pictures in this book. And our poetry of the week was just reading Star Spangled Banner out loud, but other weeks it has been um, a different selection, usually from um, a child's book of poems, like this week, a sea song from the shore in a child's book of poems. So this is kind of what it looks like inside of our enrichment book. I don't necessarily go through every week and ask them all of the questions that go along with enrichment, but every so often we just have discussions, more so than questionnaires. Some of the vocabulary they want them to know. Um, you can read to them about the author and illustrator of the book of the week. That's in pretty much every week. I think they have that information written in this enrichment book as well. I really like these. And next year we will be doing, so I'll have a second and third grader next year, and we will be doing second grade enrichment next year. So we basically do the same thing. This is what the cover of my second graders curriculum manual looks like. And we go through every day and we check off our boxes for the things we do. And we are not doing second grade literature enrichment. So we just follow that in my first graders book. But most of these, the curriculum manual, manuals are written about the same way. My sixth graders is all cut and pasted on because um, I kind of mixed and matched some things for him. But we also do other things like our science class. We go do a co-op for science. And I also add in other books like money, just to put a little more focus on money and explode the code. I love these books so much. They're very affordable and um, they're really, really good for copy work and learning basic phonics skills. 
I think these are fantastic books and I have my first and second grader in these books. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour through what we do every day.